Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Tropico 6. That one will fit, and we can put two bunkhouses over here, I think. I put one there. No, I can't put another one next to it. I can put one over here, though. This one can go right there. And I'll put a road coming out here. Because I reckon that we're going to end up wanting to use that road later on. Right. So now we've got a whole load of things going on here. I've got just one time speed ticking through at the moment. We're waiting on a load of builders and stuff like that. I've got more shacks going up very, very quickly over here. I'm going to go to residential and I'm going to... Do you want to unlock the blueprint for $1,000? Yes, I do. Mansion right there. I'm going to build a couple of mansions here. Now, where should I put them? I'm going to put these mansions over here. I'm going to put one there like that. And I'm going to put another one right beside it there next to El Presidente's palace over there. So we've now got loads of things. We've, we've got various different buildings going up over here. And we've got the rum distillery and we've got lots and lots of housing going up for our residents. Which I'm kind of hoping is the right thing to do. We need to keep our residents happy. So we've got the rum distillery and I'm going to be wanting to build a library for the people there. And we're going to need to make sure that we've got plenty of entertainment for all of these people. We've got some entertainment already, but we haven't got loads. So that's another thing that we're going to need to do. We, we've, we've got a couple of bits. We're going to need entertainment. So I think another tavern would probably not hurt because I, I got one there. So adding in a tavern over this way somewhere. Let's put one there. Put a tavern in there, and then we're going to want luxury entertainment, residential, industry, no, food and resources, no, media and education, library is 3,600, so they'd like a library so that they can get an education, and... That's never something that revolu revolutionaries want the education, but it's not something that um, other people would want for the revolutionaries. Right, we've got a road potentially over that way, so I'm going to put the library here. No. Actually, we're going to need to do it like this. We're going to put the library there, like that. And then I'm going to put a road... That will go in front of the library over to that point, and then. Oh. Doesn't like that bit, does it? It doesn't like to put a road going out into there. It'll go from that point and jump back over, but it won't go down here. It, it won't allow a road to run through there. So I'm going to have to cancel that construction there. And that bit of road there, how are we going to do this? See, it won't, it won't allow me to run it through there. I have an idea. Cancel the construction of that one and put the road up here. Because I want that, I want a road to just go up that way. It, it's gonna go, it's gonna head up that way there. Now I will keep it straight in town, so that road will run up to there like that. For now, and then what we will do is I had a second expensive house going up here, and I'll go back to that one. I don't, I've, I've no idea. Having never played this game before, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. But I, I kind of think like an expensive house would probably be a good idea probably help us out a bit so I'm gonna go with it and I'm gonna go over here to media and education I'm gonna put a library in and then this library is gonna go see I don't know if I should put the library facing that way or you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have the library facing that way I don't think that particularly matters I don't think it matters in the slightest right who's building what this is the one over no that one's not being built yet we've got the quick build options somewhere what is actually being built right now? That one isn't. Time is going. 
Time is ticking. That one. No, that one's not been built. You're not being built. You're not being built. You are being built. There we go. I've, I've got people building over here. We're building this structure right here. I've got four people have turned up on site for that bunkhouse right there. So we, we're about to get that one underway. So let's, let's speed things up a little bit. So they'll come in there. They'll go along. They'll build the bunkhouse. There, we've got one. We got a bunkhouse. It looks like they're just moving in next door to that bunkhouse. Yes, they are. Fantastic. Now where are they going? They're not coming this way. They're going they're, they're going to that next bunkhouse in there. That's good actually. We want the bunkhouses and now we've got the rum distillery being built. I will Oh, okay, it's already gone. So completed trade routes. I've already completed that trade route right there. That is excellent. Automatically open the trade skit screen a uh, trade screen. Right, so trade route offers down here. We've got wool, tobacco, pineapple, milk, corn. I'm going to sign a corn contract there. We're gonna take 800. I'm not gonna do loads of it there. Yes, I wanna sign a corn contract. So I've signed the crown. Your distillery trade route. seems to be working. Ooh. Quick tip, Governor. It's best not to sample your own tipple, if you get my meaning. Hmm? Jolly good. I certainly made it. I certainly make it my business to avoid your island cocktails. Too much coconut, you see. Did I mention that I'm allergic to coconut? Just one of the reasons I hate this place. Right, we can extend our mandate time by 12 months or we gain $3,000. I'm going to extend by 12 months. That's our mandate time down there, I'm assuming. It's my job yes. to fully exploit these islands, insignificant as they are. Or bananas, giant apes, dinosaurs, whatever has monetary value. So I need you to get to whatever we've got, if you've got the guts. Expand, Governor, expand. Go to all the islands, find me things to sell. Are you listening, or are your ears just painted on? We need to build a team support on each of the three other islands. Except, right... Okay, things are being built. You over here, you've got a little box up above you there. If you Right, that's a set budget for all buildings at the same time. Genuine export blend. Uh, the output is decreased by 25% while this building's operational. The efficiency of each tavern and cocktail bar is increased by 10% on medium budget. The bonus can be accumulated up to a cap of 30. We'll leave it on the genuine export blend. Right, so we want sugar in and rum out. So we're waiting on some sugar to come across the road. Uh, upgrades. Let's have a look at that. Dunder still decreases sugar consumption. We'll take that. That's 5,000. That will decrease our sugar... Con uh, sugar... What do you... Monopsy in there. Um, I'll take that one. So, then, if I have a look at you over here, set budget, if I increase the budget, I can increase the efficiency and stuff, so, out, sugar over there, change resource, upgrades over here, fiber fertilization, green waste chopper, modernize, there's no upgrades that I can put in it at the moment, stats, efficiency, how do I make sure that the sugar is going... Build a building with the same type. I want the sugar going into here and not going to the Teamsters office. That's the bit that I'm currently looking for. I'm trying to sort of figure out. It's, it's, was, was there a way to do that? I, ca I can't remember now. I don't think I needed to do anything. I think that just happened automatically. They bring the sugar in. Yeah, they're bringing it right. There, there we go. We're, we're bringing sugar in automatically, and then they're changing it into rum. Whether they're still exporting sugar or not, I, I don't really know. I would guess that if we've got spare sugar, then they'll be taking out. See, we've got corn and hides here that they're taking out, because we've got hides from over here. So we've got out, meat, and hides. 
It doesn't look like I've got uh, very much. Manure fertilizer increases efficiency of nearby plantations and hydroponic plantations by 10%. This bonus does not stack. So do that one there. And that should give this one a little bit of a bonus. Upgrade here. I can't do any upgrading on that one. Right. Sugar coming in over there. Once the sugar is all filled up, then I'm guessing the extra excess sugar gets uh, exported. Uh, let's change that down to one time speed on there a minute. We've got the library we're still waiting for and one of the rich mansions up here as well. I've got nobody living in there at the minute in the mansion. So I don't know if that was a bit of a... Um, a waste of money building that uh, that one up there, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that it wasn't. I mean, if you look at the number of bunkhouses that we've got here, I wonder if I can, can I do upgrades? Upgrade on here, electrification. No, I cannot do an upgrade on that. Efficiency, 100%. Uh, tenants must be at least poor, emits little pollution. Set the budget. If I increase the budget on these normal occupancy stack them higher increase the maximum number of households by two the housing quality is decreased by eight broke citizens can afford to live in this citizen in this building the rent is zero right well we'll leave it as it is i think at the moment uh but i'm thinking that we increase the budget for something slightly better there i've completed another trade route I've done the corn one. I got logs, milk, rum, tobacco. So I'll do a rum one right here. 20% above standard. Just going to do 2,500. I'll sign that contract right there. Yes. For rum. Right. Crown trade route. Fulfill import trade route with... Oh. Import trade route. Right. Okay, well, that's a little bit different. So, I need to... That's a sort by name there. Sort by deviation. Trade partner, import, export. That's import there. Tobacco, import. And that's export. That's export right there. So, I need to... I, uh, I, I need to get this one out. 10% above standard. This is the standard income per thousand auto export income to 150. Oh no, the red is out. Minus five. There we go. That's what we want. I want a minus five. That's, that's incoming, isn't it? Import. Yeah, it says right there. Import. See? Export tobacco. Import logs there at minus five percent. Is there any benefit to me doing that? That's fives right there we import some milk now i'm gonna go with the logs i'm gonna do 900 logs i'm gonna sign that contract there you do not have a free trade license purchase an additional trade license or free up a license by completing or cancelling another trade route first purchase yes do that and milk or tobacco so i've done it now haven't i active trade routes rum and logs so i've signed the i've signed them Rum is being exported. And then we're importing some logs. I don't know what I'm going to do with the logs once I've imported them, but we are importing them. And at the moment, we are constructing a library to keep that one happy. Um, so I need Teamster ports on three other islands. I've got one here, I've got one here, and I've got one here. So I've got to build the Teamster ports on these islands. Where's the best place to build? I think this one here kind of needs to be... Where would be the best place to do it? Like, I, I don't want it too far away from that one there. I'm going to be able to get there. So I'd say, actually, out here would probably be the best sort of location for doing that one. So we're going to have to go to construction, traffic, infrastructure, landing, Teamster port... Right, so I can put that one down on there. Not connected to road. That one can go out on there like that. And I reckon that's probably all right. I'm just going to leave that for a second because we've got the library building. So I, I want to see what is going to happen with the library and with other things going on over here. Now i got sugar in here of 500. Rum there of 500. 
Uh, I need to be having a look at the almanac and seeing what we've... So we've got 27 unemployed citizens and 13 homeless citizens. Healthcare is not brilliant. The balance of our account is dropping slightly. Overall happiness, 34. Healthcare is lowest. Fun happiness is not far behind. Liberty, 49. Crime safety, 48. So they're quite happy with those. I need to bring up the healthcare. Viva la revolucion! Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. We appreciate this good turn you've done for us. And I assure you, we will stop revolving before we go all the way around and end up back where we started. But the struggle can be protracted. Oh dear. Seriously? That's like the general in the um, tutorial bit with his sort of weirdness. That Yeah, right. Do I want 10 revolutionary immigrants or do I want an extra 2,000 or do I want a random blueprint? I'm going to go with 10 revolutionary immigrants because revolution, I think, is a good thing. We want, we want independence, don't we? So we're going to need revolutionary immigrants. So let's have some of them. Let's, let's bring in some assistance, shall we? Excuse me. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll bring in a bit of assistance here to help us out a bit. Uh, I was looking at... Uh, what was I looking at? Uh, public services in here. Grocery chapel. Church clinic. That's what I'd like. Building cannot be built in world wars. Now, building can be built in world wars. Provides health care. So I'm not, I'm not able to do that yet. Groceries and a chapel. Right, now at the moment I've got a chapel there. Help first, preach later. Service quality decreased by 10. Visitors have their healthcare happiness lower than 25. They'll receive healthcare service with a quality. Right, so we've already got healthcare going on in here. That's as much healthcare as we can get at the moment. That's a bunkhouse, that's the plantation. That is a country house, which is better than a shack, apparently. So I don't want those. Uh, so I don't have a grocery store. Sells edible goods to provide food to the household of visiting citizens. Sell consumer goods to increase all happiness values of visiting citizens and their households. Visitors must be at least four. All right, we'll put one of these in because we don't have one. I think this could benefit us. I don't know where I want to put the thing, though. I kind of think that out over this side might be beneficial. But at the same time, is it? Maybe I should... I'm going to put this one in here. Although I'm thinking, yeah, if I tuck that one up there... That's not very centralised, though, is it? It's not in a central location for the town, which doesn't exactly make it easy whereas if I put it over here maybe I can't put it here terrain is too uneven I can put it here which means I can I can put it there and then I can put a road sideways and that one would work and it's sort of it's no closer to the town than this bit is over here I think that's the one that we need to do I will put that one up there. That's where that one's going to go. So then we've got uh, the, just extra the, the groceries in here, which increases all happiness, apparently. And we, we, uh, we want to increase all happiness. We want to be able to do that. Government finance, decoration, luxury entertainment. No, I'm not interested in getting those just yet. So another country house. Tenants must be well off or better. Tenants must be rich or better. I've got a couple of country houses. I think we do need more bunk houses. Right, what's the green and yellow bits all about? You, if I look... Oh, I see, it's not... These bunk houses haven't even been filled up yet. That's what the green and yellow bits are. The mansions don't have anybody living in them. And these residences here... I've got a couple of people living in them, but not very many. Down here is where I need some more. So that bunkhouse right there has got some people living in it, but not enough. I'm going to demolish that one. That one I'm going to get rid of, and then we're going to go into here, and we're going to build bunkhouse. 
Um, I'm actually going to build two bunk houses, one there, and I'm going to build another one right next to it over there. And then I'm going to go to this, I'm going to go to the road, and that road is going to go apparently around in a sort of loop like that. You know what, that's fine. Uh, so I've got an extra two buildings right there. Now this one over here is the one that we're building right now. The people came over here, They the builders would have turned up over here on... A barge, yeah. That's what they do. They turn up on their barges, don't they? So we will speed that up a little bit. There. Completed trade routes. Ooh, right. We've done the demand complete bit down there. Trade route offers. We've got export corn right here. Oh, that's, that's the ones that I've done. Uh, tobacco right there. I'm not growing any tobacco at the moment, so we won't sign I must say contracts. I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. Between you and me, your little eccentricities make being here a little more bearable. Yesterday I found a spider the size of my hand just sitting on the chaise long. Blighter probably wanted to pay off. Everyone else does. We will extend our time by another 18 months. There. I don't like that bloke. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't like that bloke. So, we need to build a road on. This one's got to be connected to a road, which means it's got to be connected to everything else as well. But I will just build a road to start with. And that road can go... Straight out like that. There. Right, that is now connected to a road. It doesn't actually have anything else connected to it right now, but I've at least got that. Now, there was another thing. You could have a landing here. Allow citizens and tourists to get into boats. Well, Travelling on boats can dock at landings, and then the Teamsters can transport goods. So, I need a landing on each of these islands as well as the one that I've just gone and built. So, I'll have to put that one down there. I've got a main dock over here, but I'm wondering if I also need to have a landing over here. I ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify being mean? But for independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. The people have taken this to heart and constantly try to find new ways to sacrifice for the cause. They are very inventive. Please make a sacrifice as well. For the people. Build a chapel. Rewards, we can get another 10 revolutionary immigrants. Uh, consequence of not accepting. I accept. I've already got a chapel, but they want me to build another one. What's this? Attackers, defend. Wait, what? Damage, high priority. Why have I got a target on the rum distillery? Is that from... What do you guys need? We got education. I got food, goods in. I got an empty grocery store at the moment. Do I need to increase my security around here so that I can get some more assistance with some of this? I don't want my rum distillery blown up. I'm making money out of that. Building houses over here. So they want me to build a chapel. I've already got one chapel, but I will build another one. We go to food, industry, entertainment, luxury, media, tourism, public, raids, government, decoration, world wonders, public services. Yes. Right. I will build a chapel over this side, because we've already got a chapel on the other island. On the main island. So we will build one here, and that one... Just looking to see which way round that... Yeah, that's the way round that I want it. That one is going to go right there. There is our chapel that we're going to build. And then we got this one over here that's being built as well. We'll go here. We will build a road. And that road is going to go to there. Cannot build bridges in the sea. Oh, I see. I see! There, that one will go there like that. I've got a road. It's, it's gone past all of it. We have got road there connected, and I cannot build bridges in um, this era. Let's allow things to move on. 
I need more teams to... I've got one team support. I'm going to need one over here and one over here in order to do that bit that we've been asked to do. So I will do the same as I did before. Trade, I got a new thing as tobacco there. I don't want to do tobacco. I'm not going to do that. But what I will do is I will go back to here. So we'll put a landing in. Put a landing there, and I will put a team's to port right next to it. Can that go back a bit? No, that can't go back a bit. That one's going to go there. And then I'll take a road. And the road can just go in a straight line along there, like that. Right. So there's that pair of them. They're being built down there. And then I got one more over here. I don't really know what I can build up in this, but we'll we'll do the same again. We'll do a similar thing. This one wants to sort of be pointing out in that direction over there. And we're going to do it down onto this beach. So we'll come here. We will do a landing on this one. That's going to go there. And we'll do a teams to port as well. That's going to go there, and then I will go to road over here, and it's going to go across there, and then this road will come out like that, and let's leave those as they are for a minute. Now, why you keep bleating at me? What are we looking at here? Completed trade routes, modifiers, active trade routes, I got... Two of them available. Rum. 845 out of 2,500. I'm making money out of this. Right. Everything seems all right at the moment. Everything seems to be working. Uh, you down here. What's what's going on here? Who, who, who are you? Who are these guys? These, these pirates. Right, I got I got pirates coming towards the rum distillery. How do I solve this? I don't think there is anything I can do to solve this. How do I solve this? How do I protect against the pirates? I don't want you blowing up this one. The enemy seems to have the upper hand. Trade. Raids. Why is this one? Why have I... Oh, okay, look. I've got a whole load of new trade options here now. Uh, so I can export corn. Let's do that one. And this time, I think we should go with 5,100 right there. We'll, we'll export lots of corn. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go with 5,100. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually fulfill that one. Maybe I'll stick with 800. Well, okay, let's let's not get... Yes, I want to sign that one. Let's, let's not go too nuts with it then. So I've got two of those right now. Then what I want to do is I want to go into here. Raids and military. We want a guard tower. We've got a fort. We've got a pirate cove. Watchtower right there. Uh, guard tower engages enemy squads during military conflicts and has a chance to discover hidden roles of passers-by. Decreases liberty around it. Fort provides infantry squads to fight in military conflicts, decreases military. Uh, we will go with that one. We'll go with a fort and we will build a fort. I think we need to. I don't think we've got any choice. I think we need to have a fort being built here. And we're going to put that one all the way in there like that. Zoom this one around a little bit. And which way is the front? There's the front. And we've run out of time for today's episode. Even tyrannical despots need to take a little bit of time off work occasionally. Uh, there's a few names appearing on the screen for you from the Great Book of Names. Just my little thank you to everybody that supports the channel. The names will change after every episode as I cycle through the lists. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.